Hello again, YouTube. We are back with another astronomy sort of tools and tips video. Uh, and this video specifically is astronomy tools. What are the different tools that astronomers use to study the cosmos? We're gonna jump into it with nine different things that are used by astronomers to get us a little bit closer to understanding our universe. Kicking it off with the very first thing and probably the most famous is the telescope. The telescope is a timeless icon in astronomy. From Galileo's first telescope to modern telescopes, these optical devices gather and magnify light revealing distant galaxies, planets, and nebulae. Then we have spectrographs. By breaking down light into its constituent colors, spectrographs unveil the chemical composition, temperature, and velocity of celestial objects. Next up, we have radio telescopes. Radio telescopes are so important for astronomy. While traditional telescopes capture visible light, radio telescopes detect radio waves unveiling hidden corners of the universe, from pulsars to distant galaxies. Not everything is visible in visible light. We can't actually see everything that's there. And so radio telescopes really help detect those things that we can't really see with our optical telescopes. Next up, we have space probes. These uncrewed spacecraft venture beyond Earth, capturing close-up images and data from distant planets and moons and asteroids, providing important insights into our solar system. Now we have the space telescopes, starting with Hubble and then looking on to the James Webb Space Telescope, just to name a couple. Orbiting high above Earth's atmosphere is this Hubble Space Telescope and it's capturing breathtaking images in visible ultraviolet and infrared light, delivering some of the most fascinating and incredible images that personally I've ever seen of our universe. It was actually a book on the Hubble Space Telescope that first got me interested in astronomy. And now we have the James Webb Space Telescope taking even more phenomenal images with more details, more crisp, and seeing even further than Hubble is able to see. Now we have adaptive optics. Operating on ground-based telescopes, adaptive optics compensate for atmospheric distortions, producing sharper images by enhancing our view of distant celestial objects. Next up, we have gravitational wave detectors. Instruments like LIGO and Virgo they detect ripples in space-time caused by cataclysmic events like colliding black holes. These are known as gravitational waves. Now we have astronomical software, really important for analyzing all this information, data, images that we are now getting back from all these other tools. From planetarium programs to advanced simulations, software tools help astronomers plan observations, analyze data, and model really complex celestial phenomena. Citizen science platforms. This might be one of my favorites because this is a kind of cosmic collaborator uh, across the world for a bunch of astronomers and researchers at different levels. So you don't have to be totally PhD professional level to study the stars. To be a citizen scientist means that you have your own equipment, you're studying your own um, area of the sky, and you're able to provide that data to institutions to potentially even discover something. There are plenty of citizen astronomers who have made discoveries. Places like Unistellar Telescopes, which is partnered with the SETI Institute, that is Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, they really look at exoplanets, but also other things as well, such as far out galaxies and pulsars. But uh, to be able to help study exoplanets from citizen scientists who have the telescope, they're able to bring together so much more information and potential for a new discovery. Altogether, these tools form a comprehensive toolkit for astronomers, allowing for them to chart the cosmos, to decode its language. So whether peering through a telescope or analyzing data from space probes, these instruments are the guiding lights illuminating our journey into the great unknown. I hope you all take a moment of appreciation for all these incredible tools that have been invented and used throughout the field of astronomy to help bring us closer to the stars, to help, have us, to help us understand just a little bit more about our universe and our place within it. 
If you like this video, uh, please share it with a friend. Um, I help them understand a little bit more about astronomy. If you found a useful tool in this video, let me know if you've used it before. Have you used your own telescope? Have you used a spectrograph? Do you study data coming in from JWST? Let me know in the comments. I'm super curious to find out uh, and feel free to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and for exclusive content or other forms of space news, head over to my Patreon. And if you do support on Patreon, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. It, it, it motivates me and inspires me to create more videos like this and to help spread what I love most, which is studying our universe um, to anyone out there who is interested. So thank you all so much and have a wonderful rest of your evening. Go out and go stargazing. Bye.